Thank you for joining us today on Coffee With. My guest today is Becky Curry Yelverton. I'm going to say that one more time. Becky Curry Yelverton. And Becky is the owner of um, Shipley Donuts here in Vicksburg. And Becky, I drove through the other day and got my little cake donut and talked to you just briefly and drove off and thought, now that might be something interesting to talk about on Coffee With. So I called you right back and, and he, like magic, here you are. Thank you so much. <laughs> Um, now you did tell me the other day when we were talking that this is your family's business. So tell me a little bit about how your family got into it and how long you've been making donuts. <laughs> and uh, just kind of give me the lowdown on Shipley's. Well, my family's been in it since I was five years old. And my dad talked to Mr. Shipley, who is the franchise for Shipley Donuts out in Houston, Texas. And he... Uh, wanted to be in the donut business and they had a store he and my uncles and they were all trying to live out of one store and my dad went to Mr. Shipley and said I really like the donut business but we can't all live out of this store so he told him to go and find a place and call him and so he did and he said I found a place in Greenville Mississippi and so Mr. Shipley came and basically set my dad up in business he took him to the bank he got him a loan and this was in Greenville. That's, this was in Greenville. Okay. And Greenville is still alive and well 52 years later. <laughs> and uh, so then my dad had six children, and five of us have Shipley Donuts oh all throughout goodness. Tennessee and Mississippi. And um, so now my children are running two of my stores. So, how many stores do you have? I have three here in Vicksburg. Yeah. Okay, there's one on Halls Ferry, one on Clay Street. And one on 61 North next to Zips. And then do you still have the one in Greenville? Yes, okay. my brother has bought it from my mother okay. and my dad passed away and so she got out of it and he's taken over. So when you were five, did you go in there and fry donuts every day? No. <laughs> <laughs> when did you actually start working in the business? When I was 12 years old. And what did you do then? Seventh grade, we all had to start, and we all worked every weekend and after school. And then my senior year, they had DECA, Distributive uh -huh. Education. Uh -huh. I worked a 40-hour shift all through high, uh, high now school. Now, did you love it or hate it? I hated it. I couldn't wait to get out of it, and we had to stay in it till we graduated. Then I got married and went to Oklahoma, and my husband was an iron worker, and he couldn't find work, and uh, you know, we, we were traveling all over. And he said, I really think I want to get in the donut business. So I said, okay. <laughs> so we went back to Greenville, and my parents trained my husband, and then they had the store open here that he was, tr my dad was trying to run from Greenville mm -hmm. and it just wasn't working and so he told us if we could make it work, you know, that we could have Vicksburg. Mm -hmm. My dad owned the, he owned the franchise for Mississippi mm -hmm. and, and then my other sister in Hattiesburg, she also left and went to Hattiesburg and opened that store, took mm -hmm. over that store there. So obviously you still actually work in the business because that's how I met you. Um, so what time of day does a donut maker go to work? 3.30. 3.30 in the morning. Just like on the commercial, the Dunkin' Donut commercial, 3.30. And at 3.30 in the morning, what are y'all in there doing? Making the dough. And because you're working with bread that has to rise, that's, that's where your time comes. It takes 45 minutes. It takes about 30 minutes to make the dough, and okay. then it takes 45 minutes for it to rise. Colder weather, it takes an hour. Oh, goodness. But it doesn't take but two or three minutes to cook it. Yeah. And then, like, so when we come in the morning and get our donuts and our cinnamon twists and whatever else we got to have at that time of day, um, is everything fresh? Everything's been made that Everything's day? Everything's made every day. Every single day. Every, every night, well, every night, whatever's left goes to different places like River City Rescue and, and uh, people that have a need. I mean... I'd rather not say where it all goes, but it does go somewhere. Different does. places. Yeah, it doesn't go in the trash. Right. Room. That's the most important thing. It goes where people can use it. Right. Um, if you had it to do all over again, would you go into the donut business? It just seems like I'm destined to do this, <laughs> so I'm going to say yes. <laughs> now, I actually wanted to be a nurse, but I never got that opportunity. Yeah. It's, okay, it's I obviously don't know anything about the donuts except to drive up to the window and place my order with you. Um, so what, 
what have I not asked you about the donut business that you think people would really have a burning desire to know about donuts? I think a lot of people would like to know that our donuts uh, don't have any preservatives in them. They don't. And that's why we have to make them every day. That's why, you know, the donuts you see in these other stores are able to sit there for days at a time. Ours won't. The longer they sit there, the drier they get. And uh, So yours are fresh every single, when you drive through that morning, those have just been made that day. That's why yours are they so They may not bright. be hot, but they have been made that day. Yeah. Well, that's why they're so good. Okay. Well, thank you so much. This was very interesting and fun. Thank you for coming and having coffee well, with me. Thank you for asking. Next time you can bring the donuts with the coffee. I didn't think about it or I would have. <laughs> Thanks, Becky. Okay.